G'day everyone. I had a good question on the reduce your reduce the noise in your power supply video that I've got. Um, someone asked if you're reducing the if you're taking away the frequencies from the power supply, wouldn't that take it away from the um, guitar signal as well? And um, I thought that would be worthwhile uh, having a uh, not in depth, but a, a little look at um, why it isn't the case. Why you don't um, why filtering the power supply doesn't uh, the frequencies out of the power supply doesn't actually filter the frequencies out of your out of your guitar signal. So as I've said in the past, theory is not my strength. I'm getting better at it, but um, you know I, I think some of my strengths lie in, uh, in other areas. Um, theory is probably my weak point. Um, but um, for this, um, this should be pretty. Uh, this should be simple enough for us to go through at the moment. And um, if you've got questions, ask them. I'll, I'll try and help um, if I can. But um, yeah, like I said, theory is not my not my strongest point. So on the um, on the diagram here, we've got nine volts. So that's the power supply, nine volts. You've got input, output, and ground, and then you've got an effect circuit. And it actually doesn't really matter too much um, for this uh, example um, what's actually in the effect circuit. And then you've got these two capacitors on, on the input and the output, and you'll find that with most guitar pedals, you'll have a um, capacitor on the input and the output. Sometimes you don't have one on the input, but um, it's kind of a uh, general sort of standard with guitar pedals and audio circuits and um, uh, in uh, in general um, to have a have a capacitor on the input and the output and you'll um, see why um, when we go through this example. So on the input you've got your guitar signal and you may um, you may have heard that your guitar signal is just a it's a um, it's AC uh, it's a it's a it's an alternating level um, so. You know your guitar signal is going to look like uh, it's in the in the millivolts. I hear. I've never actually tested it myself, but it's in the millivolts. Um, and you know it's as you play the guitar, as you strum, um, you get you'll get a you'll get a, um, a a fluctuating level. And when the flux this fluctuating level actually hits um, this capacitor here, um, depending on the value of this capacitor, it might actually chop off some of the some of the bass. Um, it, it it depends on the value. The, the larger this capacitor is, um, the more bass it will let through. And the same goes on the output. Um, the, higher, uh, the higher the value, the more bass it will let out of the um, circuit as well. So, you know, your effect, it, it'll go through, um, it'll come out, um, your, your guitar signal will come out the other end, um, you know, and it will be the same sort of thing. Uh, it'll be an alternating, um, uh, an alternating voltage. But up the top here, you've got the nine volts, and um, uh, ideally, nine volts is just a flat voltage. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't fluctuate in any way. It's just nine volts, and that's it. And that's the way that you probably think of it when someone says nine volts DC. Um, you just automatically think of a flat line. But it's not always the case with some of these power supplies. Even when they say they are regulated. Um, they can still have a bit of ripple uh, in the in the um, uh, in the DC voltage. So you know you, you're going to have like uh, the slightest amount of um, of of um, fluctuation uh, at at nine volts. So some power supplies are have a flatter nine volts than others. And if you've got this ripple, um, it's actually what you're hearing on your output because as far as capacitors go. A capacitor will block DC voltage, so it's going to block this 9 volts, but that ripple um, that you get on the 9 volts will actually come out on the output. So it'll be sort of in addition to um, what you're getting from your guitar signal. So that's, that's where that noise is coming from, that sort of whistling noise. It's this ripple in the 9 volts. Um, it's passing through the circuit and it's actually been added to your guitar signal. And the nine volts will 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 hit this um, capacitor, and it will just go. It'll just go. No, nah, can't go any further. But the ripple, because the ripple is an alternating, is an alternating voltage that will actually come through on the output. So I'll just say that once more. The capacitor will block the DC portion of your nine coming in from the nine volt supply, but it will not block the alternating part of the nine volts. So that's what you're hearing on the output. So how do we actually get rid of that ripple on the power supply? Do we just put in 
a capacitor like we've got on these other ones like this and um, and that'll filter out the um, you know you could put a low value in or um, a high value and stop the um, stop that ripple coming through that's not going to work because um, the 9 volt DC is going to come in it's going to hit the capacitor and it's going to get blocked and you're actually only going to get um, a small portion of the ripple actually come through so you're going to block the power the power to the effect so that's not going to work so you've got the same setup you've got the input signal coming in which is um, the um, the varying voltage um, from your pickups and then from up the top here you've got the 9 volts um, DC with the slight ripple um, which is causing the noise that we want to get rid of so obviously um, uh, as I said before you can't just put a capacitor like this because it'll actually block the DC part you don't actually you still want the DC part to go to the effect so you actually um, wire up your capacitors um, in this manner and you might be able to work out now um, if this if you haven't sort of understood why they're actually um, wired up in this way you might be seeing why now AC an, an, uh, an alternating voltage sees a capacitor as a short um, so uh, a DC will be blocked by it but a, but a um, alternating um, uh, alternating voltage will see it as a short so this part this alternating part of the voltage um, of the 9 volts will actually just go out of the circuit and you'll end up with 9 volts um, that will be flat and won't have that um, alternating part. The alternating part has left the circuit through the capacitor because it sees the capacitor as a short um, and it will leave the circuit leaving only the DC portion of it. Um, so yeah, you have to sort of experiment with these, volt with these values um, you know to get to get rid of this part it's quite it's quite difficult to get rid of the ripple in 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 the um, unregulated um, DC voltage uh, my circuit um, in the in the other in the other video that I've done will will get rid of I found to get rid of a large majority uh, you know like to estimate you could say sort of 20 or th um, uh, sorry 80 percent um, it'll get rid of um, but you you will still have a little bit of, of, a, of a whistling sound and that's 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 still some of this DC voltage getting into the um, uh, the, the alternating part of the DC voltage getting into the getting into the effect um, but ideally you obviously you want um, a flat a flat 9 volts so I'm pretty sure I've covered everything um, I don't think I've missed anything I'll put it in notes if I have but um, um, yeah I hope that sort of explains how how these these capacitors work and also if you're not familiar with how a capacitor works you might sort of be seeing now um, how they can be used in circuits um, yeah like um, also the the other thing with the um, that's why they're called DC um, uh, that's why they're called decoupling capacitors because um, they they separate the DC they block the DC but let the AC go through so they kind of um, they kind of separate the AC from the DC so they decouple it um, that's that's the reason why they're called decoupling capacitors um, so yeah there's a few there's a there's three uses for for capacitors that hopefully you understand now um, increasing the increasing the value um, will let more base through um, when it's wired in this particular um, configuration um, it'll also block DC and when it's wired in this configuration it'll send AC to ground um, so you can see that capacitors kind of uh, they're very sort of um, they always sort of relate to a frequency. Uh, most most of the most of the electronics I understand so far, I've found that they're they're, um, they're they're usually tied in with some sort of frequency. So yeah, check out some schematics and see. And you've um, some some circuits actually have these um, on the actual circuit. Some commercial pedals have them in, and it's kind of a bit of a grey area. Who is supposed to do the filtering? Is is the power supply um, company supposed to filter the filter the voltage properly um, or uh, sorry um, uh, regulate the voltage properly or is it up to the effect um, the effect manufacturer to um, to um, have some sort of filtering in their circuit and the sort of the the uh, the reality is that you know as I mean the reason I'm doing this is because power supplies aren't filtered properly so you should actually put some sort of um, some sort of uh, power, uh, power filtering in your circuit if you're designing a circuit to um, to get rid of some of that noise. Um, if the person that's using your your effect um, is using, you're not you're not going to know what they're using. So you know a bit of a bit of power um, filtering would probably go a long way. So that's it for this video. I hope it um, hope it explained um, uh, how that works. And um, I thought it was a very it was an excellent question um, because it it pretty much um, 
uh, explaining it pretty much explains how this this configuration um, actually works with you know the um, the capacitors in the front and the end of the circuit and these um, capacitors up here. Thanks for watching, and if you're um, interested in more videos, um, you know, give me a thumbs up if you, if this is the sort of stuff you want to see. If you want to see more of this sort of stuff. Um, and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more electronics videos and um, do-it-yourself guitar pedal stuff. Thanks for watching.